What's up, guys and gals and YouTubers and Facebookers and y'all? Y'all. It's Amanda. It's Mark. <laughs> part two. Two. Part two. Of the three-part series oh, on yeah. the three ingredients we think is most important for muscle growth. Top three muscle building tips and ingredients, whatever you want to say. Right. First video topic covered. You don't even remember. Training. Training. If you don't train, uh, I mean, that's the, right. my opinion. That's in that video. You got to train. This video. You got to train. This to train. Workout, exercise, whatever. That's training. That video. Right. This video. Two. Which is? Nutrition. 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 Yes. Or your diet. What are you eating? Healthy eating. Healthy eating. You know a concept that I Eat. recently learned? What? Was in relation to younger people. So my child at the time was younger than 10, struggled with metabolism, things like that, picking up weight. We didn't know what was going on, but Metabolic instead of syndrome. saying, what is metabolic syndrome? Metabolic syndrome is a cluster of conditions that increase the risk of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. It's very common, more than 3 million U.S. cases per year. Metabolic syndrome includes high blood pressure, high blood sugar, excess body fat around the waist, and abnormal cholesterol levels. The syndrome increases a, a person's risk for heart attack and stroke. Aside from a large waist circumference, most of the disorders associated with metabolic syndrome have no symptoms. Weight loss, exercise, a healthy diet, and smoking cessation can help. Medications also may be prescribed and now you know the real thing instead of saying on a he's on a diet we said he's eating healthier so it's kind of tricking the brain into not necessarily the the exhaustion of i have to diet i have to diet i have to diet it's i'm eating healthier choosing healthier food options what people don't realize is if you eat healthier you are sustained longer yep. so you are actually dieting without even knowing it yep it's inherent you just you you eat less calories throughout the day because the nutritional value of the food you are eating is fulfilling it's fulfilling mm -hmm. and it does what it's supposed to do if you eat high sodium high fat sugary foods it spikes your insulin which causes you to be hungry or it tricks your body into thinking that you're, you're hungry, hungry and you're not. Point. Case in point. If you eat breakfast, when are you hungry next? For most of us, it's like two hours two later. Two hours later. At least. I'm starving. I'm hungry. Can't wait for lunch. If you don't, I don't, if I don't eat breakfast, I can go one, two, three o'clock sometime. All right. Is your body still in the fasting mode? There's a million topics we can talk about in this nutrition segment. Yes. I utilized intermittent fasting all summer long. For the last six, seven, eight months, I've utilized intermittent fasting. Uh, it's after one o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm just now, just now breaking fast. And I, I had. You didn't eat this morning. No. I had a protein no. shake. Well, I mean, I ate last night at work. Last night meaning what? Like, it's been about 12 hours it's since I've been. Yeah, that's about it. It's been about 12 hours. Yeah, I'm teasing. But I broke fast with a protein shake because I utilize intermittent fasting. However, I'm not doing that as much as I was. Sometimes I'm eating breakfast now because I'm in, a bulking, I'm in a bulking season. I'm trying to put on Muscle. some weight through the winter. Good weight. Good weight. Uh, nutrition is key. Right, for the record... This is unsweetened iced tea with no additives besides the tea. No sugar. What happens when we eat too much sugar? You become insulin resistant. What does that mean? Okay, really quick. The hormone insulin helps control the amount of sugar or glucose in your blood. With insulin resistance, the body's cells don't respond normally to insulin. Glucose can't enter the cells as easily, so it builds up in the blood. This can eventually lead to type 2 diabetes. Insulin resistance typically has no symptoms 
Weight loss and exercise can also help reverse insulin resistance. So what does that mean in normal layman's regular Joe Schmo terms like me and you? What that means is when you eat too much sugar, your body, your cells begin to reject it because your cells are already full of glucose from the copious amounts of donuts and sticky buns, I'm guilty, and everything else that we eat. And it ends up floating around in your bloodstream with nowhere to go. So it ends up resulting in weight gain and a bunch of glucose floating around in your blood. And that's how you end up with diabetes, type two diabetes. How can you reverse that? Stop eating so much sugar. And you ask, what can I do to not eat so much sugar? What you can do? Here are the following foods that you can ingest. Non-starchy vegetables like broccoli and peppers. High fiber foods such as beans and whole grains. Protein rich foods, including lean meats, fish, and nuts. Foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as salmon. So you can take fish oil as a supplement. Tiger Fitness offer, offers a great line of fish oil supplements, so check that out. And enjoy your antioxidant foods, such as berries. So now you're educated on insulin resistance. <laughs> But the, uh, the facts. Right. Guys, good carbs. Trust but verify. Do what works for you. Right. Good carbs. Uh, monitor your calorie intake. Protein is important. She, she's doing great. Her body's responding very well. I personally think she could use more. The general rule of thumb is 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. So if I'm 122, That's I should have 100 to 122 pound, pounds, <laughs> grams of protein. In a day. In a day, every day, for muscle growth. I'm gonna try. Protein keeps you sustained. As also, yeah. it keeps your body, it keeps you full or longer. It, keep you full. it keeps you sustained. I'm drinking one of Fats those are important. Else. Good Thank fats. You. Good fats from mm -hmm. pistachios. From Almonds, avocados, those are good essential omega fats, guys, that you need. Not the fat from McDonald's or Crisco or Jolly look Rangers. at all the name brands I'm throwing KK. out there. Right. And carbs should be utilized, you know, a, ge a good general rule of thumb to follow. Once you set your macros or your calorie intake, Adjust it. You always want to keep your protein and fat pretty much the same. This is this is this is a basic general rule of thumb for dieting. Keep your protein and your fat the same, and adjust your calories with your carbs. If you need more calories, once you hit your fat and protein macros, if you need more calories, add some more carbs. If you need less calories, if you whatever your goal may be, if, if you're trying to gain weight, then you need more add more carbs. If you're just trying to maintain, then stay right where you're at if it's working. If you're trying to lose, then just cut some more carbs. I mean, it, it's progressive overload, just like in the gym when you're trying to get stronger. You're always going to plateau. Your body weight's going to meet that calorie intake at some point, and you're going to stop losing weight. Yep. And when that happens, you just need to take a little more away. You know something that kind of gets me whenever I'm trying to be cognizant of the sugar and the high fructose corn syrup and things like that. What? I don't have a problem with sweets. It's not sweets that get me. It's dipping sauces. Sauces, yes. Buffalo. Yeah. My favorite. Ketchup, number two. Loaded with sugar, loaded by the way. No fat, usually, sugar. but it's loaded with high fructose right. corn syrup, which is a very concentrated form yes. of sugar. But dipping some ranch. Mm. That's my problem. But we don't think about that because it's, you know, a little packet. Ranch is we... loaded with fat. Mm -hmm. Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel. Back to, I just want to throw in there, back to cortisol. Yeah. Cortisol causes stress. Stress. This stress. is a whole nother, this is a whole nother um, a topic. Right but yeah. stress causes cortisol. cortisol. Cortisol leads to visceral fat. Yes. Or, 
Yeah. Visceral, sub visceral. subcutaneous. Visceral fat is the bad fat. That's the okay. fat that's under our muscle. It, it, it holds retention. You're trying right. to lose fat, but your body is flooded with cortisol. It's almost counterintuitive because it doesn't, it's harder. You have to work right. harder for it. Let's not veer off so, too much on anyway. that. But I just want to jump back right. to uh, why we eat so much sugar and why you're always hungry. hungry. You're not, your body doesn't know what to do with all that crap. Uh, that's just to put it blunt and be simple. This is fact. It's fact because I experience it myself. The yep. more crap food I eat, the hungrier I am. Yes, that's fact. Try to eat 3,000 calories worth of grilled chicken, fish, uh, you know, lean clean red food. meat, clean foods and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Right, you'll be stuffed and puke potentially. So. <laughs> Nutritional value so whatsoever. We eat it, it goes into our stomach, and our body looks at it and says, What in the hell am I supposed to do with this? Right, so what does it do? Waste, but also it stores, pack it on, fat. It stores on fat. Because it's not serving a purpose. No, no purpose. No food. Look at the ingredients. So think about that. <laughs> when you put food into your mouth, what purpose is it serving? Right. Is it pleasure? Because that's my purpose for Funyuns is pleasure. I like them. And we're not saying that's not okay once in a while. By any means, you can do that once in a while. I probably couldn't because I don't know how to moderate and I love fun. Right. So. <laughs> it's kind of like me and the iced Sticky honey buns. buns. <laughs> Sticky buns. <laughs> but no, not really nutritional value. If you Maybe are a little thinking bit in nutritional there, but... value, that's an easy start is what is this doing for me? What's your purpose? What's the purpose? What's the purpose for right. this food? Yeah. Yep. So, hopefully this has been informative. Jumble, little jumble, and seeing some squirrels and a little bit of all over the place. I think but it makes perfect sense. At the end of the day, it's you are what you eat, yep. and monitor your sugars. That's why the keto diet is taking the nation by storm. Um, it's because people are not eating carbs or not eating sugars. Carbs are not the devil. You can have good carbs. <laughs> You. You are not sweet like a sticky bun. <laughs> Probably salty. You are not what you eat today. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Squirrel. It's so easy to get him off target. Yeah, I'm Squirrel. done. I'm done. Hit the brakes. I'm done. We done. Subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Share, share, like, like comment, comment. We want to hear. Send us a bunch of money. Oh. We take PayPal. Yes. <laughs> Let's start a GoFundMe Hi. for our YouTube channel. Would y'all 